All right guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna have a full day of eating. I'm gonna run you guys through everything I eat in a day on prep. So um, first we have, I'm cooking it right now, we have three whole eggs. I use these bougie ass free range happy eggs. Um, they're like brown looking eggs. So I think the brown ones taste the best to be honest. I mean, yeah, and they taste different. I don't care if you think they don't, they do. Um, and then we have, I already made it here, but I have my oats. This is 80 grams of oats. Um, this is the new bowl that Emily got me. She got one for herself too, but I don't think I'm gonna eat out of anything else in my entire life. Like this is all I would need to eat out of for the rest of my life. Like this thing's dense, it's hard, it's like, this is sick. So uh, we have 80 grams of oats, 100 grams of um, blueberries, and then, in this I put 12 grams of light butter and then obviously the three eggs. And then I'm gonna have two scoops of whey protein. Um, I just drink this in the morning. I don't like mixing it in the morning. It gets too heavy. Maybe on prep, like further into prep, I'll, I'll do that. But right now, I'm just gonna be drinking this because it tastes good. I don't know why this honey and stuff is right here. This is not for me right now. This is for pre-workout. But um, I'm gonna put some of this seasoning on there as well. Uh, this is everything but the bagel seasoning. And yeah, that's what we're gonna have for breakfast. All right guys, so we have my pre-workout meal slash shake. This shake is two scoops of whey protein, 80 grams of whey protein, 20 grams of peanut butter. I use the chunky natural peanut butter. 50 grams, 40 grams, sorry, of oats, 60 grams of honey, and I just mixed it all together. I also haven't announced on my YouTube, I officially wear glasses. I, I got these glasses when I was back in California. I ordered them, they came in like two or three days ago, um, and holy cow, do they make a difference, guys. Um, you, don't really, you don't really understand what you're missing out on when you kind of take your vision for granted. Um, you know, if you can see everything clearly and you have great depth perception, you have, you're not near farsighted, uh, it's okay, right? But when you know you have eye problems like I do, um, like I knew I had eye problems for a while and I was like, like, oh, I don't need glasses, oh, I don't need contacts. And, and then I finally admitted to myself that I need to do something about it and take action. So when we were in California, I got myself these glasses and um, wow, what a difference they make. Um, I put them on and literally, I, I get like this depth perception um, when I'm focused on, an, on on one object, the background is blurred. And when I'm like this, I can't really fo like fully focus on one object, um, especially if it's close to me. Um, I felt like I have very good vision when things are close to me, but now that I put these on, I realize how bad my vision actually was. So the glasses don't only help with like seeing, obviously they help with like getting tired later on in the day. Um, I'm able to sleep better at night. Uh, all these things are, I'm starting to notice and I'm, I'm just super excited. I took my vision seriously and I did something about it. So you'll probably see me wearing these more often than not. Um, I try to wear them the whole day now. All right guys, so here I have meal number three. If I'm being completely honest, as you can see, I already started to eat this. I was super hungry when I got home from the gym. Um, and I already half of it, but we're gonna go over it now better late than never. Uh, we have 240 grams of white rice, jasmine white rice in here, um, as well as 150 grams of chicken. And then I just mix it together with some Jihu's barbecue sauce. And that's literally it, nothing crazy. Just threw it in the big ass bowl and we're gonna eat this and then see you guys at the next meal. All right guys, so we have meal number four. A little later than expected, I had some errands to run so it took a little longer, but as long as you're getting your meals in like two to three hours apart, you're good. And the last one was at like 2.30. So um, this is gonna be plank steak. I'm gonna show you guys how I cook it real fast. It's nothing crazy, but this is how I'll cook it through prep. Um, it's pretty prep friendly. I literally just put it in here, I, I cube it up. A lot of people will cook plank steak like on the grill. However, we don't have a grill here. We might get one in the future though. If I do, I'll tell you guys, I promise. I'd eye salt and I'll just like sprinkle it on here. I wish I could have showed you how much I put on, but it's not too much, but it's definitely uh, more than normal because I just don't really salt my meals. So I salt it when I make it. That way it's already kind of pre-salted. 
And then um, I'm gonna put some of this butt rub on there, just a little bit. Here. I put a little bit more than you might think I need because it does kind of like come off when you cook it a little bit. So I wanna get as much flavor as possible. And then honestly, I haven't been using that much salt, uh, not that much salt, that much uh, sauce lately. So I'm trying to, trying to keep the sauce low on this prep and uh, just kind of use seasonings when I cook my meats and um, stuff like that. So uh, basically we're gonna do this along with 240 um, grams of white rice, jasmine rice again. And I'm gonna put 130 grams of this plank steak in there with that uh, white rice. This will be my final meal of the day. Um, I'm gonna have 150 grams of chicken breast again, and I'm gonna have 410 grams of jasmine white rice. gonna wrap up today's video super short but um, I wanted to let you guys know what I'm eating every day I had a lot of requests for it on my Instagram so um, if you guys want to see a video comment down below what you guys want to see make sure you like subscribe so you can follow me through this prep like I said this one's gonna be a lot different um, I'm really excited and really confident in what I'm bringing to the stage so you're definitely gonna want to follow me through this journey um, and I can't wait to show you guys the whole thing. So we're gonna go get some steps in. Um, I have my, we have Nobu, and then we have um, my new shoes. So we're gonna go get some steps in. I have to reach 6K every single day. Um, the, at the very beginning of prep here, I'm sure it's gonna get up to like 12K. Emily was up to 12K um, at one point, steps a day, which is pretty rough. It's double what we're having to get now. Um, but this is actually the first day where I haven't, um, hit my steps because we've been so busy walking around doing stuff all day, traveling. You kind of just hit 6K steps easy. Um, honestly, I've been upwards of 10 usually. So we're gonna go get the steps in, make sure we hit this consistently, and I'll see you guys in the next video.